First look at Oxygen OS 11 based on Android 11 from the OnePlus 8T running on the POCO F3 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Oxygen OS 11 based on Android 11 from the OnePlus 8T running on the POCO F3 or the Mi 11X. As you can see, Android version is 11, security patches from July. The kernel they're using is perf kernel. Do note custom kernels are not supported. And here it is, device name is OnePlus 8T, which means this here is Oxygen OS. And this is how the ROM comes out of the box yes it does have some pretty cool wallpapers baked in so if you go into the wallpaper section you will find some exclusive and unique oneplus style wallpapers and some of those do look pretty dope next up let us have a look at the volume panel so this is how the volume panel looks like it is on the correct side and the animations are pretty smooth as well then as for your quick settings panel here it is the quick settings panel and you do have the blur effect when you access your quick settings panel these are the different tiles which are available on this build and in case you want to add more here are the different options which are available to be added then you also have zen mode and do note this is the new zen mode it does require some permissions and this is the one wherein you can create a room in case you want to with your friends with multiple different theme options next up this is of course oxygen os so it comes with oneplus launcher hidden applications are there working without any issues and if you go into customization for your oneplus launcher you can customize what do you want to do when you swipe down do you want to access the oneplus shelf or your quick settings do you have a toggle to enable or disable the google feed double tap to lock you can change the launcher layout and yes, you can change your icon packs as well. Cyberpunk icon pack is baked into the ROM out of the box. Moving over to the applications which are baked into the ROM out of the box, the only two apps which I have installed are YouTube and the Google Photos. Everything else is baked into the ROM out of the box. And yes, you do get the new weather application. Here it is, it does look pretty dope. Other than that, you also have Dolby baked in yes gaming mode is there and if you want you can change the view as well and here in you have the normal gaming mode works without any issues and in case you want to enable fanatic mode that option is also available again all these features are working without any issues with respect to the gallery app you get the new gallery app which has three different sections collections photos and explore option then with respect to the phone app this is how the phone app looks like similarly with your messages app this is the stock google messages application and those of you who want to change the ringer mode you do have an application called india nets sound tile because we do not have alert slider so you will have to use this application to switch between the different ringer modes in case you want to you know mute your device or put it in vibration only mode now in terms of your recent application this is how your recent applications look like again as you can see everything is smooth and fast and if you press and hold on any application you get lock and app info i think there should be a third option as well here it is for supported applications you will get the option of split screen as well of course you have these cool looking icons at the bottom along with the option of clear all next up let us head over to settings and this is how the settings menu is going to look like again everything is smooth no jitters no lags so far let us jump over to display settings and here it is adaptive brightness automatic brightness works you can of course go into advanced and here then you can calibrate your screen so you have three different options vivid natural advanced once you enable advanced you have more options amoled white gamut srgb display p3 you can change the warmth and all of these options do work without any issues then you have 120 in the building yes 120 hertz is there you can lock it to 60 if you want or you can use the dynamic option wherein if you're watching youtube it will switch over to 60 or you can use the max refresh rate wherein it will always be locked at 1 
20 then you have notch display and if you want to hide the notch bam there it is select the option rounded corners everything shifts down works like a boss similarly you can also choose what all applications you want to see in full screen then you have options like vision comfort which you can either turn on manually or you can set a schedule for it similarly you also have reading mode with two different options mono and chromatic again turn it off right away or you can schedule it as well and you have the same options available for dark mode and all these options are working without any issues then you also have vibrant color effect a toggle for that and in ambient display you have lift up display and in case you want to enable always on display that feature is also available then you have your contextual info display message horizon light new notifications toggle all of this is working like a boss then you can customize your font size the display scaling can be customized and other than that you also have what all icons you want to see in your status bar if you go into the icon manager and you can also choose to see the time customizations then do you want to see the network speed battery percentage what is the battery style you're looking for a toggle for auto rotate screen and screen saver Next up we have customization and of course that is what Oxygen OS is known for adding customization on top of stock Android. You do have canvas option make sure you download the application from the Play Store. Then you also have options of clock on ambient display and yes you do have Bitmoji and the new inside clock along with all the different options working without any issues. Then of course you can change your wallpapers, change the accent color and yes if you go into customization you can enter your specific color code as well icon packs are supported along with icon shapes and you also can change the font between roboto and oneplus sans and yes i haven't forgotten cyberpunk theme is available works without any issues looks pretty dope the only downside is that you do not have cyberpunk live wallpaper but again you can always add that the video for that can be found in the description of this video next up we have sound and vibration so of course you have sliders for the different volumes do not disturb is there earphone mode is also present so what do you want to do when you connect your earplugs and yes the wired headphones work absolutely fine then you have live caption go into phone ringtone you can change your vibration pattern for the incoming calls along with the vibration intensity and you can also set a different ringtone for different sim cards other than that you can always customize your sms and notification sounds go into system sounds you have toggles for touch dial pad screen locking sound and screenshot sound along with the toggle for touch vibration and once you tap on touch vibration you can control the vibration intensity for the touch next up we have buttons and gestures so of course we do not have the alert slider so this section is not going to work but as i mentioned earlier you do have an application called india nets sound tile which you can use to switch between the different modes then you have navigation bar and gestures of course you can choose to use the three button style or the navigation gestures and you can also hide the bottom bar in case you want to do that and if you go into quick gestures you do have flip to mute three finger screenshot is there and yes double tap to wake is there so let us give that a try double tap to sleep on the home screen working without any issues double tap to wake works like a boss as well moving back into buttons and gestures what else do we have over here you have double click the power button what do you want to do do you want to open the camera or none option and press and hold the power button do you want power menu or the google assistant and while we're talking about the power menu this is how your power menu is going to look like and let us also try out the option of three finger screenshot bam there it is working without any issues you do have expanded screenshot as well and with of course oxygen os 11 if you long press on the screenshot you can share it between different applications here are the default options and you also have more which should bring up another window and here it is this is the android quick share menu working without any issues
Next up we have apps and notifications. Let us go into see all apps and choose the Chrome application. Go into permissions. So here are the different options for your location permission. You do have a toggle to remove the permission if the app is not used for some time. Then we can also go into mobile data and Wi-Fi. So here you can disable Wi-Fi, disable your SIM data for this specific application or you can also give it unrestricted data usage. Other than that, if you are on the apps and notifications homepage and you can always go into notifications and here in tap on advanced, you do have a toggle to hide silent notifications in the status bar. This is useful for those of you who use the option of live caption. Then you also have notification history once you enable the toggle and you also have priority conversations along with bubbles working without any issues do note that whatsapp does not support android 11 bubbles right now with respect to security and lock screen unfortunately no face unlock but fingerprint is there works absolutely fine now do note you only have touch to unlock you do not have the option of press the fingerprint button to unlock as you have on me ui Next option we have is battery. So you do have performance mode and once you turn this on, you will get more performance, but at the cost of high power consumption. Battery saver is there. You can turn it on with a toggle or you can always choose to schedule it based on your routine or based on the percentage. And you also have a toggle to turn off battery saver when the phone is charged to 90 percentage battery optimization is there and this is an important section in case you are not getting notifications from applications go ahead and choose your application and say do not optimize so that you do get your notification from that specific application with respect to digital well-being and parental controls this is what you get from google which is baked into oxygen os 11 going into utilities you do have dual apps working without any issues and similarly you also have app locker which works without any issues as well moving over to system here and you do have different languages which are baked in and tap on add a language here it is these are the different languages which are present in oxygen os 11 based on android 11 running on your poco f3 or the mi 11x and yes you do have hindi marathi and other indian languages along with asian and english versions for different regions then for your keyboard it is using the google keyboard and other than that what can i say it's time to check out the app opening animations and as you can see on your screen right now app opening animations are pretty smooth everything is at 120 let us check out the google feed here it is 120 smoothness eye candy working without any issues the transition from your google feed to the home screen is also pretty smooth next up let us try to switch between a few applications here it is you can see no jitters and no lags when you try to switch between different applications everything is pretty fast and pretty smooth in that respect also then of course you can always check for safety net so again build is not pre-rooted out of the box as you can see it is not rooted i have only installed magisk app to check for safety net safety net is passing in the magisk application let us now head over to the google play store and herein we can go into the settings about here it is play protect certification device is certified this means your banking apps are going to work without any issues with respect to youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium with respect to google photos do note you can choose between original quality or storage saver and this is oxygen os so forget about unlimited storage from google now a bug in this build which i found is that the assistant lady is not working with the screen turned on or with the screen turned off when i installed the build for the first time she was there working with the screen turned on but once i rebooted my device once the hot word is broken but you can always invoke her manually and she will be ready to help you without any issues so what is the final take on this oxygen os 11 build running on the poco f3 or the mi 11x super fast super smooth a few minor niggles like no face unlock and the 
fact that assistant lady hot word is broken but i'm pretty sure the developers are going to fix that pretty soon but nonetheless this is an awesome impressive build by oof gang running on the poco f3 or the mi 11x and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you